lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today. I've got a new case today. Spirit direct me to this one. Um, I went to Google and I said, okay, what do you need me to know? I was quite restless. I'm sitting there at my table going, I know I need to tune into a case and I don't know which one. I've already done the others and I don't felt like, felt like, uh, uh, I didn't feel like I had to revisit them. So I typed in missing Aboriginal man. That's just what came to me. Straight up comes Jeremiah Rivers' face uh, on Google stating that he has been missing for two weeks. He went, um, if you're aware, if you're you know familiar with Australia, he was going from one state to the other. So they left the Victorian border, like it's close to the Victorian border. I can't remember the exact town now, what it was named, but it will be in the description box below because I've only just literally seen this case like five minutes ago. So I don't really know that much about it. All I know is that he and I think six other people, <coughs> excuse me, I think they were his so-called companions, you know, um, traveling with him across borders. They went and camped out back, you know, and they have been, um, I think, illegally they crossed borders from Victoria to New South Wales, um, as far as I'm aware. I'll, as I said, I might not get all the details correct because I still need to go back and look at it. But the gist of it is, is that he traveled with these people. They camped out somewhere. Um, and his friends have stated that he, at 9.30 in the morning, went for a walk, left his belongings, be you know, left his belongings behind, and went for a walk, and didn't come back. And he is actually a trained ranger, apparently, so... But they said that he could only survive for so long out in a remote country. We have very, you know, severe weathers at times too. Like it can be very hot. It can be very dry. At times it can be freezing. So, um, yeah, depending on where he is and, and what's around him, I mean, he didn't have anything. He left it all behind. So the police are now, you know, homicide detectives have come in. They believe that there's something suspicious going on here. The family believes it's suspicious because stories aren't matching up. Um, but I still want to come in with an open mind, okay? I, I do believe what the police are saying, but as usual, I like to come in with an open mind um, to see what spirit have to say on this. Yeah, let's have a look. But it does sound very sus. Thank you, Jeremiah. I feel like he's with me. I feel his energy is with me. I feel I was definitely directed to that case today. All right, let's have a look. What am I using? I've got three tarot decks that I've chosen. I have never used three tarot decks, so that's really bizarre um, before. So, okay, I've got my own Divine Journey Tarot that I created, um, as well as the Ocean of Emotion cards that um, and these ones here that I want to use, the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. So I'm going to get an energy. Okay, this is going to be, I like to get a storyline, as a lot of you know. I want to get an energy of Jeremiah's energy, right? I want to tune into his energy on the day, on the morning. Um, or actually, I won't even say the morning because that could be a lie. Okay, the time they've given could actually be a lie. He might have been killed the night before. Who knows? So I'm going to actually ask, what was his energy at the last time that he was around these people, okay? His so-called friends or companions, what was his energy? And he seems to be quite a strong fella, you know? He's, he's a footy player. Um, he's, yeah, he's very strong, very fit. Uh, let's have a look. What was the energy of Jeremiah, please, spirit? I've just got to hold on to it and tune in a bit more. Thank you. Yeah, he wants the truth to come out. I think there has been some foul play here, guys. It's just an energy I'm definitely getting strongly here. But as I said, I still want to try and remain open-minded. But yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't fight, fight the feeling. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it, Jeremiah. J-O, I think they called him. Jeremiah, please. What was his current energy around with the people he was last with? What was his energy? Loyalty, drifting, slowly parting, disconnecting, detaching, and loyalty, dedication, trust, reliability. All right, so I'm going to get another one with that as well. J 
Jeremiah's current energy, please, on the on the day, the last the last time that he was with these people. What was his energy? So we got worry. Feels like I'm carrying the weight of the world. We've got stuck. I can't break out of these illusions. And we've got build. I would like to work together to have stability. Okay, I want to get more okay before I start saying anything. Usually things can just come through very quickly and I'm bang, 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 bang. <laughs> it's, you know, info's coming out. But I just really want to just sit with it for today. I just want to get more of an idea just through with the cards. What was his main energy? Regret and abandonment. Okay. What was his energy, please? What was Jeremiah's energy the last time he was with the companions? Queen of Prosperity, Divine Feminine of Luxury. I'm going to move into that more. The Magician, the Knight of Passion Reversed, and the Devil card. I wonder if there's a female among them. I'm not sure. I don't know who the companions were, but it would be interesting. Um, okay. He was loyal to these people, but I feel like his loyalty was drifting away. Okay, he started to, there was something he saw or clashed with somebody that he didn't feel um, was the right thing to do. I mean, was he part of wanting to do the illegal, you know, moving into another uh, state illegally? There was just something, I don't know what it was, but there's something here that he felt he wanted to disconnect from and walk away from and, and not be a part of. He was worried about it. He felt like he was stuck in this, in this situation with these people and he tried to work on it with them. He wanted to work on it with them. Um, I'm going to get their energy in a minute. He feels regret because there's abandonment here. I want to get a clarifier on that one. Where is my other deck? Oh yes, what am I looking at? Here, I want to, I want to have a look at the regret. Please spirit, what is the regret? There's the devil card. Again, the devil card, the devil card. Is this around addictions? Was it drinking? Um, it could be lust. Is the queen like a feminine energy here? There could have been some... Um, I'm just thinking, you know, there could have been uh, a temptation. But it says here lured. Look at that lured. That's what I created for this one. It's a very different devil card. Uh, usually it represents temptations, our shadows, you know, things that keep us trapped or tied down. And you see stuck here too. Um, he was trying to be the he was trying to do the right thing, but there's something here that he regrets doing. He regrets it. Um, a bit more info, please. He regrets, he regrets not seeing something for what it was. He didn't. Um, he didn't see something coming. He didn't see it. He he didn't see that these. He, it's almost like he had in his mind these people were loyal. They were good people. Um, and then I feel like during the camping trip something's just turned. It's just it's just completely switched over. And maybe they abandoned him. Maybe they left him out there and drove off. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Yeah. What happened, spirit? Because I'm feeling like, um, geez, I'm feeling his energy. Um, so he must be passed. You know, he must be deceased. Is he deceased, please, spirit? Is um, I was going to say Jelani. Sorry, I'm not doing Jelani. Is Jeremiah deceased? Got the high priestess reversed. It's a spiritual card. It's insight, intuition. Is he deceased, please? 
We've got the temperance card reversed. <clears throat> there's no peace, there's no balance. Uh, the moon reversed. Once again, secrets. A nighttime event. Yeah, definitely with the moon, like the the high priestess is the Pisces card. Uh, very, yeah, it's definitely showing. And she holds secrets too. That's very interesting. So they're holding secrets. They're holding secrets. They're hiding the fact they've done something with him. That's what I feel. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they've taken something from him. See how this is? This hand is giving, giving something, offering something. They've actually taken it from him. They might have even taken his money. <sighs> All right, let's get some more info. Did did they harm him? There's a Queen of Swords. Um, they just disconnected from him, like uh, almost just aloof with him. Just discarded him is what I'm hearing. They discarded him. And they made plans to move on, to travel onwards. See, look at the car, the world. So they made plans to, yeah, and they they actually came up with a plan. See, the Queen of Wands, a uh, Queen of Swords, I should say, is um, very clear, very clear cut. It's very black and white. Um, she speaks her truth. Not that they're being truthful, but I, I feel like what they're doing is very um, like analyzing. It's almost like analytical that they have to. Uh, rehearse something to be clear as to what they're going to say um, yeah look the justice cards come up and that's the queen that's this one this is the Libra and this is the Libra I always see the queen of swords like a lady justice like she doesn't muck around she she wants truth um, looks like there'll be justice guys and we've got the Strength card reversed. So he was like a lamb led to slaughter. Um, and I'm not saying that as in like they killed him in that way. Like they might have not physically harmed him. I've still got to get to that kind of thing. But it shows me that they're cowards. Like they didn't, they didn't, they just, um, they're cowards. They could have helped him and they didn't. That's the feeling I get. Oh gosh. Um, all right, I want to actually see, I want to get more into their energy, okay? So I've gotten a little bit of his, but as I unfold the story, it's going to tell me a lot more. What was the energy, and I know it's hard because there was like six of them, but the main person who's kind of told everyone how they're to be, how they need to be in this, like their story, the leader of the pack, what's his energy, his or her energy? I have a feeling it's a male. What's his energy, please? Misery. I'm haunted by the past and my own inner darkness. Okay, I feel like that's current. What was his energy on that day or night that um, Jeremiah went missing? I know we can fix what is broken. Healing. Can't get my mind off you. Distracted. And intuitive, trust your inner knowing. So I feel like, uh, interestingly enough, I feel like that person was in two minds. Um, maybe obsessed with this person, maybe distracted by Jeremiah. Knowing that deep down, um, you know, this that they were meant to trust in their intuition about what to do. But it's like they were uh, pissed off at him. They allowed something to get to them. And it could be that they just wanted to also fix if it was a fight or an argument, something like that. Because you can imagine if there's, especially if there's six males all together getting involved in a fight, if there's drinking involved, um, they could gang up on each other, you know, beat each other up. God knows what's going on. Um, interesting. All right, we'll get more of the info with that. The, the main leader's energy on the night with Jeremiah, please. Feeling trapped, but the feminine energy again, very interesting. And that stuck, tied down, captive, very interesting because that is Jeremiah's energy. And that's also what this person felt, feminine energy. Um, pretend, mask, exaggeration and bluff, receptive, open heart, softness, vulnerability. And we've got established family, triumph, security. So it's almost like this feeling... Uh, I'm wondering if there was a female there, guys, and there was some kind of jealousy. 
I, I just feel like there's someone crossed the line with something or they thought someone was. Um, it's very hard to know without knowing any of the story, but what I get is that there's definitely a female energy there. And maybe she was the one that was wearing the mask. Open to Jeremiah. I don't know. It's very interesting. And I mean, if there's no female involved, this obviously means another message. Um, because feminine energy is receptive. It holds back. It's passive. I uh, just want to get more info. All right, I'm just not getting it yet. What is the main leader's energy, please, regarding Jeremiah on the day? Shame. Uh, you know, I think there's a conscience here. It sounds weird for some people, perhaps, uh, but there's there is a conscience there because they're feeling miserable right now. Um, I'm haunted by the past and my own inner darkness. There's shame there. And emotional blackmail and drowning. Wow. Okay. So did he use something use something against Jeremiah? Um, did Jeremiah drown? I mean, there could have been a lake near there. I, I have no idea. Um, oh, shit. I just realized. I just realized they camped at a place called Whippo Creek. I'd really like to Google that to see the landscape and what it actually looks like. If I could, I don't know. But yeah, I want to see what it looks like there because that's very interesting that's coming up. Abandonment issues. Once again, this is interesting because Jeremiah's energy is abandonment. So this leader dude uh, may have abandoned Jeremiah. He might have been the one that said, leave him here. Or, or not so much leave him there because I'm sure police would have found him if they had just left him. Um, but that's the interesting thing because I kind of feel like they did leave him. Maybe they left him and then came back. Yeah. It's I I'm trying to get my head around that one because I, I do feel a feeling that they just left him there to... Um, uh, what's the word? Struggle, suffer. Um, maybe they thought he was dead and they just didn't know what to do and they left and then they came back and then... Ah, gosh, you know, like far out. I don't know. This is... I don't know. Let's have a look. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Is he deceased? Is Jeremiah deceased? Got the green man and we've got dedication. So what I see here is this is... He's outdoors. He's in, he's in the uh, bushland, okay? He's outdoors. Uh, dedication. That's three people working together. We've got materialism, which is a four of discs. So there's something about money, I'm telling you. There's something around money. Uh, rebirth. So it just shows me he's gone into the afterlife. That's what I see that as, like he's been reborn, you know, into the afterlife. That's, that's kind of like how it reminds me of it. Uh, we've got intellect, ace of swords. The clarity is going to come through past the delusion. Okay, so whatever delusion is around them that they think they can, you know, pull the wool over the copper's eyes or the authorities. It's the, the uh, there's going to be a clear conscience. I can't work it out, but I think one of them might come forward and just give in and break. Because it's going to be a clear conscience, um, and it might be the younger one. I don't know who they are. Actually, that's an interesting thing too. I didn't Google who they are. I don't know if they are even on on Google, but it'd be interesting because I like to read photos. I like to look at photos. Oh, man. And one even called him his brother. Yeah, I feel like there's one in particular that called Jeremiah his brother. So there might not be, you know, um, there's that one again. Three of pentacles there, dedication, now was it dedication there, teamwork is the team, they, they worked as a team, they worked as a team um, to cover this up, to hide this, but I do feel like someone called him their brother, uh, or treated him like they were a brother, sweet surprise coming in, and we've got the swift positive action, that's awesome, so things are going to start, huh, yeah, they want to, they want to get, um, prepared for this because there's going to be an arrest made soon I feel yeah I feel like um I still keep getting that feeling they left him somewhere so they've obviously 
you know, for the police and, and helicopters and all sorts of things to go searching for him, he must be buried somewhere. He's under something. They, they, but they've left him there to. Um, I, yeah, it's interesting. I keep getting that they left him there while he was alive. So uh, that's when I think they've come back, possibly gone away, freaking out, talking to each other about what to do, and they've come back and. Um, yeah, that's. Yeah. So we've got the High Priestess reversed again. Secrets are coming out. Oops, shivers. We've got the rest. So, yeah, this just tells me rest in peace. Like, his soul is resting. Maybe not really resting, but you know what I mean. This this does show me, like, a rest in peace. Um, so I do feel he's deceased. And I don't want to say that 100% because you never know. Like, we never know with these cards. I never claim to be 100% correct. Uh, that's just a really heavy feeling, like a sinking feeling I get that he has, he's deceased. Uh, we've got potential. So the fire's gone out, you know. Um, he had so much potential in life. He had so much potential. Um... We got what's this one? Movement, Knight of Cups, movement. So once again, a creek. Very interesting. And we've got thought here. So this is the page of swords. I just feel like, yeah, that there's a lot of them definitely not coming forward. They don't want to come forward with truth. But I, I just definitely get one of them who probably is going to crack, and it's probably the younger one. Hmm, so let's get an idea of what happened, please, Spirit. Please give us some energy, like the energies around what happened to Jeremiah, please. Because, yeah, it's definitely, it's interesting about the drowning because I do feel there's water involved. So let's have a look. What happened to Jeremiah, please? They could have harmed him and put him in there. Who knows? But, oh, geez. Um, rejection. It's very interesting, isn't it? Like, we've got abandonment issues, we've got abandonment and rejection. So he was outcasted by the group because he didn't agree with something. Um, like, because it feels like he wanted to disconnect from something that they were doing. He just he just didn't want to do it. And it's interesting that it's a feminine energy. There could be another thing coming in with that as well. It might have been a temptation or someone might have just flipped because they thought he was flirting. I don't know. Um... It's hard to pinpoint, but I definitely feel, definitely with these cards, that there's a rejection of the group, out of the group. He's out of the group. They've turned on him. And forgiveness, you know, I know I don't normally read these reversed, but yeah, I kind of feel like it's going to take some time for the family to forgive these people. Yeah. See, isn't it interesting what little faces, I didn't even, I've never seen them before. Little faces in the bushland, like keeping an eye. Um, so it's kind of like they, they were keeping watch too. They know exactly where he is. We've got impatience. And we've got balance. Interesting, the justice scales are coming up. And look at these people, not happy, not happy, because they're going to be done for. So, yeah, someone's getting impatient with the system, but it's going to happen. Got perseverance, so yeah, it might feel like there's no, no, you know, what's the point of persevering, no answers are coming, but I feel like they are. They are coming. And I wonder if there's another Indigenous guy with them. Like, I don't know if they were all Indigenous because Jeremiah is an Aboriginal guy. They might have all been, but there's one I see is really skinny. And I don't know if he's tall, but I'm just seeing him sitting down and I see really skinny legs. And he might be the one that cracks. Workaholic. So he might have been a workaholic or someone is getting busy with work right now. Yeah, they're kind of just not expanding or travelling. So maybe... 
the main person is kind of just ho holding back, hiding away, just working quietly, not really getting out there. I mean, they were traveling. You know, they were traveling. They illegally crossed the border. I think two had um, been... Oh, this is annoying too. Like, this is so annoying. That um, two had crossed the border with COVID. So ridiculous, isn't it? And then we got enlightenment. So it's showing that it could take some time for that. What's that about? Confusion. Well, I feel like the confusion's lifting, but it's gonna, it could take a little bit of time for enlightenment to come through. Oh, gosh, guys. What's the energy I'm getting with this? I've got to get my true crime oracle done. Um, I'm in the middle of making it, so hopefully it'll happen soon because I think that's going to help me even further with um, the cases. But someone held a grudge. Someone's held a grudge and there's been confusion. Mm. Someone had it in for him. Someone wasn't his friend. Uh, there was very much loyalty issues and someone definitely had it in for him. They had a grudge with him. Absent-minded and denial, abuse and grief. So that's, um, maybe I think I'm picking up on different energies of the different guys or different people that were there. Two of Pentacles reversed, so there's an imbalance. It keeps coming up with balance, imbalance, things like that. Um, you know, sometimes I re-watch my videos and then things will come through as I'm actually watching them that I didn't think of or didn't come through. So it could be a case of that, uh, but it definitely shows an imbalance. Um, Juggling between two things. I'm just going to, um, yeah, look at that. Three people, you know, or more working together. Once again, three times now this card's come out. Three of Pentacles teamwork. They worked together. They, I feel, ganged up on him and left him. And then later on have come back and done something with his body, disposed of him. Yeah, someone's staying up late at night, anxious, because as I said, there's a clear conscience somewhere. Someone has it. Um, even the leader has, is holding shame, is feeling miserable over the past actions. So they're not extremely um, happy with what they've done. Um, but there, I do feel a couple of them are very cocky and don't give a shit. So, yeah, five of swords can't, don't give a shit. It's like um, to win at all costs. You know, this is bad blood here. And arguments and fights and um, the need to be right. So there's there's definitely been something there. Mm. The Empress reversed, okay? So the Empress is pretty much the feminine energy. Um, it could have been around a woman. Could be some issues. There's grief here. Loss. And the need to be alone working hard on one's uh, this is rewards here as well so what was the reward what was the payoff you know what was the payoff peaceful extroverted what's this about Knowledgeable and invested. Whose energy is that one, please? Whose energy is that? We've got the wheel. So delays. I think, you know what I think? I feel like he had knowledge on something. He is a very maybe extroverted person around his crew, you know, his people. He's very peaceful. Um, and they took that away from him. He's a very strong person. I think there was a lot. There was a, a grudge. There was jealousy of Jeremiah. Uh, he's invested in what he wants. He knows what he wants to do in life. He's very successful in a lot of ways. Um, and he came into some bad luck with these people. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. Betrayed. He was betrayed. He was betrayed. Three is a crowd, they say, but I know there was more than three. Um... But there's pain here, there's lies, there's been mental torment, um, a grudge being held against him. 
Oh, gosh. You know, and that's that thing about being stuck and being tied and trapped and captive. I'm just hoping to God they didn't tie him up or, you know, um, because that's interesting. It's come up with the devil card twice and the stuck card. And even this is showing me like strings and, and stuff like that. And she's tied up. So I'm just, oh God, I hope they didn't do anything like that. Yeah, there's a loss of life here. There's a feeling of being once again rejected and abandoned. Left out in the cold. Okay. So, far out. Seriously. God. Anything else I need to know, spirit? Force. So, whatever happened to him was done with force. They might have forced him to do something or they have... You know, hurt him forcefully. We've got the King of Swords there reversed. Yeah, this was brutal. The King of Swords reversed can be quite nasty indeed. Um, it's like they will um, cut you down with their words. There might have been there might have been the sharp weapon used. And they're not rational. So whoever did this was irrational. That's why I think there might have been drugs or alcohol involved. Uh, had a grudge. There's fluctuation. Once again, the two of discs juggling back and forth, going back and forth. And there's the death card, guys. Look at that sharp object, see? And, and is she near a creek? Or no, I'm just seeing things. I thought she was near a creek. But it still shows the outdoors, doesn't it? And the vast lands and, and at night. And I'm just getting, I'm just feeling this tingling on my head right now. It's kind of, I feel like there's a confirmation right there. So they've gone back and forth. That's what I see with this. They've gone back and forth. So we've got the six of insights moving towards a karma future. Reversed. Um... So as they travelled forward, it was not peaceful. There was a lot of anxiety amongst them, a lot of fear. Um, yeah, a lot of having to hold a secret. Knight of Roses, love proposal. So that, once again, that romantic element is coming through again. Um, there's the Five of Insights, the bad blood and arguments. Look at that, a sharp object. Uh, wow. Hmm. Because, you know, this Knight of Cups, where was it? I saw a Knight of Cups, I'm pretty sure, before, didn't I? Uh, maybe I'm dreaming. I thought it was coming up again. Um, didn't it? Did it or not? Look, I can't remember now, but I just find that very interesting that that is there. Did he offer something? Was he luring? Like, was he lured into a situation? Uh, well, look, he could have been lured into a situation too because someone thought he was you know, hitting on his girlfriend, on their girlfriend or something. Um, but there's been a betrayal. He's felt blindsided because I think he thought he could trust these people. And what am I getting with that? They've thrown his clothes around. I just, I see a campfire and I see them yelling out and um they've got beers in their hands i can see beer like beer bottles in their hands and yeah i definitely feel a f i do see like a fight has broken out and it's gotten heated um yeah they've got oh god they've ganged up on him it just wasn't wasn't just one person holding him down and um, doing this to him, it feels like there was quite a few. Hmm. Something's not right, guys. Drained. Gossip. So what's the gossip about? Drugs. The gossip's around drugs. So someone might know something about the drugs that were there. And we've got distraction. Oop. And we've got ghosting and arrogance. So they left him there. They just left him there. 
Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that so loud. Um, yeah, they were arrogant at leaving him there, just disappearing. And even, like, this is even in his afterlife, like, if he's dead, even. Like, they just ghosted the situation, they just left, as if nothing happened. Um, and we're quite arrogant in that. What else can you tell me, please, spirit? What else do I need to know here? Sorry, if you hear that whistling, it's my son in his room. <laughs> um, he doesn't know I'm doing a reading right now, but... Um... Soulmates reversed. So it's interesting because the Six of Roses is someone, usually childhood friends, happy memories. Uh, it could be that he has known someone from, for a long time in this crowd. Um, but once again, it's interesting, it's saying soulmates. So I'm wondering if there is something around a female. Uh, we've got the victim mentality there as well. So they're playing victim. Or the girl is. If there is a girl. Um, fantasies and daydreams and fantasies. So the, the, uh, blindfolds, like the rose colored glasses are coming off now. Um, what am I seeing with that? It's expanding. Oh, okay. So someone might actually try to move away. They might try and relocate. Um, yeah, they're playing victim. They're playing the victim when they're not. Although I'm saying that, I have to say I am getting that someone in the group was a victim, was victimized. It wasn't just, I, I, maybe it wasn't all of them jumping on him. It could have been that someone tried to stick up for him and then the, and then that guy got beaten up. Like it just, it felt, does feel like someone else got victimized. And as I said, it could be that guy that's the younger one who called him his brother. Um, or yeah, that younger one, so the one that's got a clear conscience. It could be him. Maybe he is the victim. Maybe he's started to see things for exactly how they are and he knows he needs to get out of there. Expand his horizons. Angel of love. That's very interesting. The love thing is coming up again. I'm just, I'm going to be so, like, if, if there's no woman there or anything, I'm going to be like, what is this about? Is it a like a, a gay thing? Like, what is this? Like, that just looks to me like there's intimacy here. Oh, look, see, I, I swear, woman holding a heart reversed. Maybe it was unrequited. Maybe she didn't, like, maybe she had um, rejected someone's advances. And we've got patience. So someone's impatient. We did see that before, impatient. And we've got deceit. Okay, so I'm hearing the words, not everything is as it seems. Uh, as, it, as it's reversed, someone's coming forward with truth. That's what I feel. Cornucopia. So this is abundance, but once again reversed. It doesn't show that they're going to get away with I don't think they're going to be abundant in this. It's not, not a positive. Like, um, yeah, I, I, well, you know, around this too, it can represent um, the environment too. Like, is it really lush and overgrown? Uh, or is he in a place that could be a bit like... Um, well, depending on the seasons, perhaps, maybe it's somewhere that he could be seen. Broken heart reversed. Interesting again, things around the broken heart, the betrayal. Look at that, broken heart reversed, broken heart reversed. So did he have his heart broken? Did someone else, you know, have their heart broken that night and then it just turned into this crazy thing? Um, but drugs is involved here too and happy family reversed. So could be that someone's breaking up and they're having issues in their relationship because of what's happened. And there's, you know, no happy family. We've also got the rainbow. So it could be same sex stuff going on here. I don't really pick up on that, but you never know. It could be. What else do I need to know, spirit? What else do I need to ask? Will he be found? Let's do the yes, no questions. I don't normally like them, but we'll do them anyway. So, wands for yes. Okay, wands for yes, swords for no. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Is he deceased? Six of Cups. Once again, someone from the past. It's loyalty. It's friendship. Um, interesting. Someone... 
King of Cups reversed. Someone's holding back their emotions. Um, yeah, someone's holding... I feel like it's that guy. I do. I feel like it's the friend. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Got the Two of Swords. It shows... No, but that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like he is deceased, but this is saying no. But someone's in two minds, so maybe it's still talking about this, that he's in two minds about coming forward or not. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Once again, the feminine energy. I know that it's not usually gender specific, but I get feminine. Feminine energy. We've got the wands. Okay, so it could say, yes, that he is deceased. I'll ask again. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Wands for yes, swords for no. Is Jeremiah deceased? We've got the six of pentacles. Six people were involved. Money. Was it over money, drugs, a woman? But is he deceased, please? Is Jeremiah deceased? Oh, gosh. Got the star and we've got the eight of cups reversed. Oh, sorry, not reversed. What am I saying? Eight of cups, someone walking away from the creek, the river, wishing upon a star, having hope and faith. Um, once again, this is an abandonment card. This is abandoning something. So I'm wondering, goodness me, I am wondering if he was hoping and wishing that they wouldn't walk away from him when he was in pain, suffering. Maybe he was still alive and they just threw him in the creek at that time. Oh, gosh. All right. So once for yes, swords for no. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Just to clarify. Is he deceased? We got the the warrior. So he was he was uh this is the strength card, but the warrior being reversed means that he lost his fight. He lost his battle. Okay, he wasn't able to be strong anymore and hold on. Is he deceased, please? We've got uh, ten of Discs, so that's the family too. Family losing strength, losing uh, faith, perhaps. Is Jeremiah deceased, please, spirit? Once for yes, swords for no. Once for yes, oh, swords for no. We've got the underworld, which pretty much shows me that he's deceased. Uh, we've got the page of cups reversed, reflection, and we've got the sacrifice. Reversed, which means usually we have to make a sacrifice for things we want. Um, just very interesting that word's coming up. It's almost like they sacrificed his life um, over petty things. Uh, emotional immaturity. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? The lovers. Just interesting this is coming up again. Is Jeremiah deceased? Wands, uh, wands for yes, swords for no. We got the wheel. So once again, it's reversed, meaning it's bad luck. Uh, it's not positive outcome. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Wands for yes, swords for no. Is Jeremiah de deceased, please, spirit? Oh, I've just heard the word you already know, but yeah, I just want to confirm, please. Is... Jeremiah deceased. So we've got the tower. So shit hit the fan, basically. Uh, he was brought down because I think he put up a big fight, guys. Yeah, I do. Is Jeremiah deceased, please? Ten of swords reversed. So it's, it's just once again saying no. But it's saying disillusionment, too. Like I felt like he was definitely blindsided. Didn't see this coming. So, is Jeremiah alive? Let's have a look at that. Is Jeremiah alive? We've got the Knight of Wands. Defeat. 
I just, oh God, I just, I don't know guys. I don't, I don't feel it. But, you know, as, as I said, I don't trust the yes, no questions really. Um, but I find it interesting. It's saying, yes, he's alive. So is he injured somewhere? Is Jeremiah injured somewhere? Queen of Cups, see the, the feminine energy, intuition in the river, in the creek. And the Ten of Cups, there's no reward. There's no reward in this. There's no happy ever. You know, uh, happy ever after. There's no, there's no happy thing here. D diplomacy, which also represents dishonesty. It's deceit. Um. Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today. Today I am looking at the case of Jeremiah Rivers, otherwise known as J.O. or J.O. Um, he has gone missing from Queensland outback in Australia. He's an indigenous man, uh, 27 years old, who was with a bunch of guys, about six guys. He was with camping and traveling around from the borders. He, I think they left near the uh, Victorian border and they were going up to, to Queensland. They illegally crossed the borders. Two of the people had COVID and had, were forced to return. And he was actually on his way back to the Northern Territory where his family and where he lives. Uh, he's a very um, strong guy. He is he's an outdoorsman. He knows how to survive out in the wilderness. And um, he plays footy and stuff like that. But... The interesting thing is, okay, is that his camp buddies are saying that he, they're saying basically that what happened was he walked away from the campsite at 9.30 in the morning, left his belongings at the camp and didn't return. They said, I think they said they went searching for him and all that and they couldn't find him, something along those lines and um, they reported him missing apparently. So I don't know the full story of it all yet because I've only just seen it tonight. But from what I have found out is that he was not one to wander off even though he was a ranger, like a trained ranger. He had survival skills but, you know, three weeks out in the outback in dry land uh, on your own with no water, no food, um, you would be found. And even the homicide detectives that have now come in... Um, they all search with helicopters and everywhere. It's dry, flat land. And they said that if he was injured, they would have found him. And they said there's no cliffs or crevices or anything, ridges or anything like that that he could have fallen into. It's very flat land. Um, so I'm thinking, well, even if he wasn't injured, even if he was wandering around, you'd think you would see him uh, as well, you know. So... Yeah, guys, it makes you wonder. And the homicide detectives have also stated that the uh, stories that each of the guys have given have not matched up. Very interesting. So, you know, I like to keep my mind open with these things, but I felt that Jeremiah is no longer with us. Um, I, I, you know, I never claim to be 100% correct in my readings ever. But I, I just have to tell you what I feel. And if I'm wrong, I hope I am wrong. Because we want him to come back to his family. They're such a beautiful people. They're such a beautiful people. Um, they feel like they haven't been as supported, you know, with the whole thing with Cleo, little girl Cleo. There was huge, massive, um, you know, media publications and stuff like that around it, which it should have. Every case should have, I believe. Um, but there's also Indigenous boys and children who don't get the same exposure. Um, but I know Jeremiah's not a child, but still, he's still, he's still in the minority. And, um, yeah, I'm here to be a voice in some way. If I can be with spirit, I've called in the Christ consciousness. Jeremiah's spirit family, spiritual ancestors, guardian angels, spirit team, and mine to please come through and help me to have truth. In this reading today, we want the truth. We need the truth. We need to know what happened and where he is. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I did a, a small reading just off camera. And the theme that kept coming up was that he was abandoned. 
Uh, they left him there and I felt like they'd left him there and then went back again and it could have been that they left him there thinking he would just, you know, die. Um, but, you know, they came back and um, I don't really know the details, but it's like they came back twice. And possibly we we're trying to figure out and freaking out what, we, what are we going to do. And that's when they've, you know, I think they've disposed of him somewhere. I'm hoping to God that I'm wrong. I hope to God he's gone and found himself somewhere and maybe gotten picked up on the road somewhere and he just hasn't had money or whatever to get in touch with people. But I just don't feel it, guys. I don't feel that. <sighs> okay, Spirit, can you please help me to, to, to find out what I'm looking at here first of all? What was Jeremiah's? What was his... Um, What was his um, energy that night or day, wherever it was, I won't even say a time, because what they said was that he was last seen at 9.30 walking from the campsite, but that could be a lie. That could be just, yeah, it could be a lie. So I'm not going to go based on that. I'm going to say, um, when what was his energy the last time he was with them, okay? The last, the very last time Jeremiah was with those people, those men, what was his energy like, please? What was his energy like? What was his energy? What was he doing? Abundance reversed. Yeah, I'm going to keep that there for a moment. Not feeling supported is the word I'm getting. It's what I'm being told. Not feeling supported. Rejection. And that's interesting because that card came upright in the last one I did. So take it as it resonates. I probably wouldn't even need to put that reversed. But there is rejection there. And the need for, for forgiveness. And it's interesting to me too, the people who are looking from the bushes, you know, they're kind of observing and watching. And I, I kind of think that in some ways they were watching him. They were sitting back watching him. So they were probably maybe looking at him to see if he was dead I don't know, it's weird. It's weird stuff. And then we've got destiny. So, you know, when we look at karmic journeys, spiritual journeys, in some ways we look at things and think, okay, that's our time. And in some way, you know, this was meant to happen for reasons we don't understand. And I know that sounds horrible because we never want that to happen to anybody and there should never be a justification for it. Um, but I think in order to go into the afterlife and into the light, he needs to be able to forgive and, and to release that burden. You know, this has been a traumatic death for him. But this is the energy also. So at that time, maybe he was passing into the afterlife and realizing this is it. This is my destiny. And we've got victim reversed. So as I said, I don't necessarily need to do them reversed if I feel it's a correct answer. Because I do feel that they rejected him as it came up in the last reading. I really do. I feel like they abandoned him. They pushed him out. Maybe he was outcast from the, uh, you know, like an outcast of the group. Something happened and he, he was a victim. He was victimized. And wisdom wasn't there to get out of it. So, yeah, and some for some reason he didn't have the wisdom. I'm just going to see um, what was his shadow self. What was Jeremiah's? Cause we all have a shadow side. We all have a, a you know, a, a light side. And sometimes drugs, alcohol, um, any kind of emotion that we feel can be, and that's interesting, flight is on the bottom, um, but any kind of um, negative emotion or a shadow, you know, is a shadow. So what we're going to see, sometimes we can enjoy what we're doing and it can be a shadow. Deception. Wow. Because I saw deceit. Deceit was in capital letters. I could see it coming at me. That's very interesting. Yeah, well, there's definite deception around around him. Flight, he's coming up again, and rage. Okay, did he fly into a rage? Did something happen where he flew into a rage? Well, somebody has flown into a rage. Maybe caused someone to want to run away. Burdens. Felt burdened. 
argumentative. So there's been a fight that's broken out, guys. Dark. And it was at night. It was at night. Because I'm seeing a fire, too. I'm seeing, I'm seeing beer, beer bottles in hand. And I'm seeing... Um, what's this? I'm seeing beer bottles in hand around the fire. Defiance. Cold. Betrayal. Antagonistic. So he was either being that way or someone was being that way with him. Someone, someone pro provoked a fight, I'm telling you. Someone provoked a fight... And he felt betrayed. He felt betrayed by this person or these people. Yeah, and it could have been a cold night or it could just mean that someone's very cold-blooded. You know, they come across as very cold-hearted. <sighs> Gosh. So we've got here illusions. Clouded judgment, unbalanced, skewed. Now, I do feel that he had clouded judgment on who he was dealing with. I think he didn't see something coming. He might have thought that they had his back. And and I do sense very strongly there's a jealousy here. I do feel like someone in the group was extremely threatened of Je Jeremiah. Okay, I really do feel that. And it says here, despair, falling apart, sinking, hopeless. So that's how he felt. He felt backed in a corner um, by these people and I feel like at least one of the guys there had a conscience okay if not two but the majority came into that uh, pack mentality and they had it in for him and they were fighting him some might have been holding him down while the others hit into him it's kind of like that feeling and I think I can see one one guy who feels loyal to him so he's got some kind of bond with Jeremiah and he might have even called him brother or bro you know it's kind of like that kind of feeling where they were getting along like they know each other um yeah there's something there so exhaustion long journey depletion fatigue so that might have played a part in it they've driven a long way to this place they're probably all cranky uh, that could happen, you know, mix alcohol with feelings that are underlying, you know, and it comes out as well with into rage and anger, um, especially with young blokes with testosterone and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm assuming that there's been a, uh, like a, someone's flown into a rage because there's been some deception and betrayal. So something could have been money that was stolen. We're talking about abundance over here. It may not, may not be, but you know, it's just interesting. It's saying betrayal, things like that. So it makes you kind of wonder, like, what was the betrayal about? Why was someone feeling the need to... Um, hang on, didn't put an intention. Why does someone feel the need to antagonise him? Or was it the other way around? Was he antagonising someone else because he was argumentative, questioning what they were doing? It could be that too, and that ticked them off. So we got confident, everything will work out for us, I just know it. So in some ways, maybe he was just confident that it wasn't going to end up as bad as what it turned out to be. And it, I think that's also someone in the group feeling confident that, nah, it's all good, we'll be fine, no one will find out what we've done. And we got surprise, so have a beautiful surprise planned for you. I don't always read these particular messages because a lot of this is romantically connected, like, you know, that's what it means, but it looks like a surprise is coming. Trust. Do you trust me? Hmm. I wonder if someone who is a trustworthy person, it could be the one I'm seeing with a conscience, comes forward. Okay, that's what I'm wondering. What is the main energy? Okay, where is it? Where's my cards? Uh, where did they go? Oh, yes, they're over here. Um, I just want to know what is the main energy around the group, okay? That's the main factor in what happened to Jeremiah. What was the main energy from the group? The most domineering energy that caused this situation, please. Isolation. They rejected him. I'm telling you, it's come out in the other reading I did off camera. They abandoned him. 
They treated him differently to them for some reason. I don't know why. Workaholic. Once again, I think it's because of his status. I think it's a status thing. I think they are jealous of him. Quest. Yeah, they were on a quest. He was on a quest. Had a, they were on a mission. Like maybe also because he had he had a purpose in life. He was on a quest. He had a mission. He had, he had things that he had planned. And soulmate. And balance. Although it's reversed. Could be in balance. But justice is coming through. Look at that. People are not happy that justice is coming through. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, soulmates can be anybody. It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, but it could be around love. Maybe there's something that they were jealous with, with him around love. Who knows what that is? Um, we've got recovery. Oh, wow. There's going to be some information that's going to be recovered, guys. Someone's going to talk. Someone's going to unleash the truth. Somebody is the key to all of this and it is one of the guys that is there that's what I feel I think I wonder if one of the guys the one that I see with the conscience um, he might be the younger one he comes through I think he might be uh, confiding in someone in his family and they're going to encourage him to come forward and he'll also be given perhaps some kind of lenient sentence if he tells on the others that could be happening hmm Right, so what is the main energy? Because we saw that one. So what other energy is around these people? Please, Spirit, that we need to know. What other energy? Vows, commitment, promises, fidelity. So as I said, I don't always read them as they are here. Um, but I do feel that there was a broken promise. Okay, it was reversed. There's been a broken promise with something, a commitment, something that they were meant to do or promised him um, didn't happen. Uh, clinging, waiting, holding on, obsessing and watching. You know, I feel like he was betrayed and he didn't let go of it. He didn't let go of it because they might have promised something that didn't happen. And I can see them laughing. I can see them around this campfire laughing and goofing off like they think it's hilarious how he's reacting. I really do feel he was blindsided by something because I'm seeing a look of exasperation on his face like he's in shock. I don't know what the hell it's about, but it's almost like either they have done something and then he's found out that, and they're all laughing at him and he's like shocked because they've done it. Uh... Some, it could have even been something trivial. It might not have been a massive thing. But I am seeing a look on his face where he's looking at them shocked and then he gets angry. Sidetracked, delays, distractions. Tension. Turbulence, arguments and stress. Yeah, he was clinging on to this. He, he wanted to, he wouldn't let it go. He's like a dog with a bone. Like he realized there was an injustice, okay? Whatever it was against him or even another person. But I think it was more targeted at him. Uh, because he, I feel they were threatened by him. They felt jealous of him. And it could have been that they were pretending to be his loyal friends when really they're not. And... Consequences, karma, destiny, cause and effect. So the the consequence of the tension and it getting out of control, um, yeah, ended up with what what's happened there. And we've got lust, so that can represent anger, passion, rising, things like that. Doesn't have to necessarily mean sex, but yeah, that's that can be there. And we've got boundaries, no drawing the line. So it's interesting they're coming up together. Was there was there someone who had those kinds of thoughts towards him? I don't know. I, I really don't get it strongly, but it's just those interesting together, that combination. So I want to see what else was going on with the group. What other energy were they in, please? I don't know if there was any females there. I think they were just men. Um, oh gosh, help me. 
Sorry, do it again. <laughs> They're all gone everywhere. Come on. So, what was the energy of the group that were with Jer Jeremiah? What was the main energy of the group that were with Jeremiah, please, that night? It says, love. I'm so madly in love with you. This is so weird because I just can't see it. I just don't feel that. I'm thinking if there's a woman involved somehow, there might have been talk about it. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. I love the sweetness of your soul and the taste of your kisses. Sweet. This is a very interesting thing. I cannot even read into it. I just don't understand this. I don't understand it because I just don't get that there was homosexuality between them. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, I'm just not picking up on it. I just don't. I'm not tuning into that. That's why this is confusing me. Was it to do with one of their wives or girlfriends or something like that? Um, we've got faithful. I know we will find our way back to each other in time. So, and then we've got strength. Your strength inspires me. So as I said before, a lot of these are romantic cards that are in here. Um, I wasn't going to necessarily read them as that, but you can't say that that's not a love card or that one either. So it's just, it's interesting to me that maybe there wasn't like an unfaithful, maybe someone slept with someone's wife or something. We just don't really know. I do not know how they're all connected and how they know each other. Uh, it could be along those lines, but as I said, that's not really the focus, but it's interesting. It's coming up. So, okay. <sighs> right. Spirit, can you tell me please what happened to Jeremiah? Please, can you tell me? Now, I'm going to get my... It's interesting I left that one up, but the rest are down. But yeah, illusions there, cloud of judgment. He couldn't... He didn't trust them. They kind of, like, uh, put a uh, an illusion up. It's like they cast an illusion, like he, he couldn't see the truth at first. That's weird. That is weird. Okay, so I'm just going to say what happened to Jelani... Uh, not Jelani, sorry, I've got him in my mind. Jeremiah. What happened to Jeremiah... Um, on the night or the day, whenever it was that he last saw these people, what happened to him? Now, it's interesting because I do have a true crime, uh, you know, oracle that I'm creating at the moment and I cannot wait to get it in the mail and finish it because it'll be so beautiful, you know, for these types of uh, readings. It'll be really good. Discord. Yes, between them. That's exactly right. Three's a crowd. Sometimes it's a love triangle as well, but uh, as I said, it's interesting. There's love things going on here. Um, but yes, definitely discontent between them. They had a fight. There might have been a punch on. Uh, I'm seeing a flat tire. Why am I seeing a flat tire? That's weird. Okay. Don't know, but... Intellect. So clarity is coming through. Wisdom is coming through. We've got tradition, so the ten of discs. So this usually represents a marriage too, this card. Family, home, marriage, stuff like that. But I just want to see what else is coming up with that. The moon, secrets, confusion, secrets. The subconscious realm and with this I kind of feel things are unstable things are going to be unearthed that's just what the feeling I get from that one the truth will be unearthed it's coming up it's going to be revealed because somebody is going to speak very soon I think they've got a guilty conscience at least one of them has it yes oh look force he was forced to do something or they've put force on him with something. So something happened. Something happened with force. It wasn't gentle. Queen of Swords. So is there a feminine involved? I don't know. It's just interesting. It's come up again. But once again, imagination. They have tried to come up in their minds, right, a story. They have created a story in their minds. And look at this. The lovers reversed. The lovers. It's just its just interesting, isn't it? Interesting. But once again, I don't know if there was... A, I don't think there was a female there. I mean, it's just interesting. So 
Because I'm not picking up on homosexuality. Um, same sex thing. But I mean, who knows? We don't really know. Um, but the lovers also represents choices. Okay, making the right choice. And being reversed, they didn't make the right choice. And so we've got opposition here as well, two of swords. So there's a clashing. And we've got defeat reversed. So and we've got the tower. Truth. This, this is the um, what I call shit hitting <laughs> shit hitting the fan. Yeah, it is shit hitting the fan. That's what I call it. Is that when things come crashing down and the illusion comes crashing down and the truth is revealed. The snakes in the grass come up. See? They're going to be defeated, these people. And we've got the web here too, which is the justice card. So it's like he got caught in a web with these people. Oh, there's a web of lies and it's going to come true. You know, they're going to, I mean, it's going to come to light. It's going to come to light. Yeah, there's, uh, see the light, he's holding the light, and there's potential, okay, there's potential for the youngest one to come forward and reveal it, because his words are going to make everything else come crashing down. And we've got the death card reversed, so, I wonder, if, see the open vast lands and the moon and that, and I wonder if there was some kind of sharp object used, uh, I'm not sure exactly, but just interesting she's got a sharp object also um but anyway it doesn't have to be it's just interesting stuff but i just feel that the death card reverse means that this is unresolved at the moment so it's not going to go away it's not going to go away on this person's mind and rebirth is a new beginning it's the sunlight coming through that illumination uh it's jeremiah in the afterlife transitioning you know bringing in through the light bring bringing in the truth Shining his light for the truth. Illumination. What did I just say? Illumination. There you go. And it could even be a female who knows one of those guys that comes forward as well to help with it. Because there's a sneaky fox right there. So she might expose the sneaky fox. And we've got the underworld here too. So it represents the underworld, you know, death. But also temperance card, which is a very interesting temperance card, this one. Temperance is all about peace, patience, things like that. Um, but I see being reversed. Some people are getting impatient. So let's get another card. All right, what do we need to know, please, Spirit, around Jeremiah's disappearance? Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. This, they love to fly out sometimes, but this one's come up journey. There's a bridge, so maybe he could be near some kind of bridge. I don't know. I don't know what the landscape's like out there. There might not even be a bridge. But it could be, uh, you know, a signpost that looks like that with all different, you know, signposts looking like that. So sometimes the cards can represent certain things that are very quite, you know, it's quite uncanny actually how some of these cards can represent certain things that actually look like the environment, uh, like, for instance, I did the Delphi case and this card came out and I freaked the hell out because Abby was on a, uh, you know, Abby and Libby were on a bridge like that. So that just freaked me out when I saw that in this card. Well, this card, there could be a bridge near Jeremiah. It's a long journey. Maybe there's a street sign like that near where he is. What else do we need to know? We've got the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, which is the sacral chakra blocked what else have we got here appreciation yeah he was taken advantage of and it's interesting because the sacral chakra is about personal emotions it's our creativity it's our um sexual center as well but i feel like he was taken advantage of on this journey can i get a clarifier for the sacral chakra The devil, oh my God. There is shame. There's shame in the sacral chakra. There's 
Also, um, when we look at this, it can represent our shadows and it can represent addictions. It can represent feeling tied down or restricted. Uh, we can feel tempted into things. We can, it can be around sex, lust, things like that as well, which is interesting because the sacral chakra is around things like lust. Um, you know, not so much lust, but it is the, uh, per, like it's sexual relationships and intimacy being reversed. It can be shame. So I'm wondering if he felt ashamed for something um, that he was tempted to do, like the thinking woman. So it's interesting. Was he thinking about a woman? Uh, the daughter spirit. See, it definitely shows me he's gone to the afterlife. Um, and once again, it could also be that there's a woman who's thinking about coming forward with truth. And this doesn't necessarily have to be his energy. This could be someone else as well who had these desires, took advantage of him. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe someone did do something to him. I don't know, guys. I can't put my finger on that, really. I just don't really know if that's right. Um, but it's just interesting. First chakra, Archangel Michael, which is the base chakra. It's our foundations. It's our roots. It's where we feel, um, you know, our foundation is where we feel, feel grounded and secure and safe. And he wasn't, because it's reversed. Strategy, like he didn't have a plan. He didn't know how to get out of this. And indecision, once again, it's showing indecision, but he didn't have a choice. It was taken from him and which way to go. I don't feel like he walked off and got lost. I really don't. I don't get that vibe at all. I think they made that decision for him, to be honest. That's what I feel. Yeah, five of passion, conflict and competition. Heated arguments, conflict, disagreements, competition, tension, struggles, defensive and territorial, quick temper, release of pent-up frustration and aggression, being rough and battling against constant opposition, not hearing another point of view. That's that. Got out of hand, I believe. Yeah, look at that. Five of roses, regret and hope. So grief is heavy on the heart. So somebody feels very sorry about this. They have a burden on their heart about this. And it could be that one that I said that has a conscience. And he might have been threatened. He might be being threatened by the others, by the way. Not to come forward. So what was the positive energy? Because we want to see what the positives were that Jeremiah was feeling when he was actually there. So he was quite transparent with the others. You know, he didn't have anything to hide from them. So they're the ones who have betrayed him, I feel. They're the ones who have been deceptive with him. He was adventurous and he was feeling care like caring. So he was caring about everyone and what they were doing and making sure everyone was okay. Um, just being his normal self. Divine, so that's his divinity, his truth, his true spirit coming through. Intelligent, so he's quite wise. Held, holding an co intelligent conversation. Uh, very forgiving. We had that forgiveness come up before as well devoted and friendly so he's very friendly he's caring uh intelligent all those things maybe in some ways he might have even just come up to one of his mates when he was drunk gave him a hug and they thought he was you know uh what do they call it like um you know um hitting on him or something and and sometimes it's not accepted by some males they think oh god get off me i'm not like that so they get angry and that could be it as well. I don't really know, but I just know there's some kind of weird thing around a sexual element here. And it does show a feminine energy in there somewhere too. So I'm just, I'm just interested about this. What was the motive, please? What was the motive? What was the motive for, for them to turn on him? It still talks about the long journey and needing to rest. And... This is perseverance. This is taking a break. It's recovery. And they weren't allowing him to. Oh, let's see what's going on with that. They 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 took advantage of his personal space. Hmm. And there's a temperance card too, which he is the peacemaker. I feel like he's the peacemaker. And we've got the yin and the yang, okay? Yin and yang. Uh, we've got the moon and the masculine, uh, the moon, sun, masculine and feminine. So I feel like he was trying to keep the balance. He was he was really trying to keep the balance. Maybe there was someone who's bi, okay, in the group. 
you might have taken advantage of him. That could be something. Um, the Hierophant is the lessons in this. And, and not, not meeting up with someone else's values. So maybe they have very different values. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So he was offered something. He was offered something, okay? He might have been offered a drug. Well, that's interesting. That's coming through. I, I feel like that's a drug. And we've got someone... Well, what's this? Someone maybe from his past, a childhood friend, or someone he's had a history with. Um, it could be that he felt they were loyal to him, or it's a loyal friend here. This is happier times, happier memories. So it's kind of like that nostalgia. But he, someone has kept their feelings closed off. Um, maybe they just saw them as a friend. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. When I'm reading this, I'm thinking, God, am I way off? This just does not seem like it's right. But, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows with all the, like, drugs or drinking or whatever might have been going on. If someone was by, maybe they did take advantage of him. There's emotional blackmail here. And guilt. Mmm. And absent-minded, so someone was absent-minded, antisocial, blindsided, there you go, he was blindsided, and withdrawn. So he was blindsided, he tried to withdraw, um, became very angry and flew into a rage, someone's feeling guilty, there's emotional blackmail here, maybe they emotionally blackmailed him in some way, there's addictions. And there's complacency and selfishness. We've got empty. So someone just, yeah, I feel like he just went empty. You couldn't believe that these people, it's almost like he really saw them for what they are. Brainwashed. So someone in the group is brainwashing the others against him. But also they're brainwashed because they, they're kind of justifying it to themselves as to, you know, why they did that and why it's okay. Shame. But some of them are feeling that. So there's six of them, don't forget. Some of them will be feeling they don't give a shit and they're just getting on with their lives. Others will be feeling, oh, look at that, drunk and callous. So there was drinking, definitely. And I do feel he was offered something. Uh, he might have refused to have it or he might not have realised it was given to him. But there's something there. And maybe that's what happened. He was given something he was taken advantage of and he was uh became very angry mm, who knows i don't know it sounds all a bit weird you know i don't normally see this with guys that are camping with each other in australia but i don't know guys i don't know it could be could be could be something uh but i tell you what the theme is mostly is being blindsided being betrayed there's deception. He felt ripped off with something. He felt like I could see the shock on his face that he couldn't believe that something had been done to him or that they were accusing him of something. Uh, it's more of a feeling that they did something to him and they were just all laughing about it. Um, so who really knows, you know what I'm saying, about this other stuff we're kind of picking up on here. Did something happen to him and they all thought it was a bloody funny joke? Um, I don't know. It's all very, very bizarre. Very bizarre, but it's it's quite something that he felt ashamed with. He felt violated. His personal space was violated. So it may not be sexual. Could be. I don't really know. But, yeah, it's just so interesting. This stuff's coming up here. Uh, let's see, please, because I'm getting very tired now. So let's get some uh, justice cards or something to show us what... How, is this going to be resolved? Thank you, Spirit. Is it going to be resolved? The Magician bringing things together, using all the tools and resources that we can, all the facts out there, all the clues, everything from the police, everyone, the family are gathering information to bring it about. Look at that. Two of Cups is the union. It's the harmony. It's the holding hands. It's the soulmate card. It's not necessarily a love relationship. It can be, of course. But in this particular instance, I feel that things are coming together in a beautiful way. There's people working together. Hand in hand. Yeah, because the um, the truth is coming out. This is the quick ending, the betrayal, the end of a long journey, okay, and the time to heal and being reversed. It could, be, it it could take a little bit of time to heal. 
and for the case to close. The Queen of Pentacles is his mum or his grandma. There's someone very close to him that is, it could be his mum. I'm getting a mum energy here as well, but a motherly figure who's just holding on. She's just a beautiful person holding on, um, trying to keep hope. Okay, she's trying to keep hope. She's trying to keep shining her light in this. It's very hard because she knows she has to for her son. And we've got here... The lovers and the hostage card. I call it the hostage card, being held hostage. Um, it's interesting. The lovers is reversed and the and the eight of swords. Okay, victim mentality here. See how she's not really, she's looking in the mirror, but she's not really tied up, but she feels that she's trapped in something. I feel, I feel, hang on, let me see. Let me see. What's the lovers? Can you tell me what the lovers is? What's the lovers card? What's the lover's card about? Queen of Insights. Yeah, there's someone coming through with truth that's going to help um, bring out the truth because the truth is being hidden and held right now. The truth is being held away, um, hidden away. So this is the divine feminine of truth. I feel like, you know, it's interesting because I saw the guy coming forward, but I still feel this illumination with the Queen of Wands, the divine feminine of truth, a female is coming through, uh, going to help with uh, information, I feel, because she's also Lady Justice. This is who I see as Lady Justice because she's the Libra. Okay, she's the Libra, which is the same as the Justice card. Lady Justice, bringing justice to this. And then we've got the Four of Pentacles. So someone's holding back information, and I think that's going to come through. How is it coming through? Teamwork. People working together to bring out this truth as well. It's his family, that's the police. It's the person stepping forward to work with the police. They're collaborating together to bring out the truth. For justice to come in. I do feel there's definitely going to be one of those people at least in the group who are going to work with police and the family in revealing the truth. And we've got the Eight of Prosperity Skill Mastery. So they're not that skilled at what they're doing because they've probably never done this before. But they are kind of arrogant and feel like, you know, they've obviously never done it before. They can't keep their story straight. Um, so there's no skill. They might think that they've got it together and that they're going to be all right through it, but they're not. They're going to be coming down very soon. Police are gathering evidence as we speak. That's what I believe. <sighs> so, Will, because I'm going to do another reading on where he is and if he'll be located, because tonight I've just, I've done so much, I feel so tired. Um, but this is just basically about the people and around him and what happened. Uh, I will do a second one regarding his body, uh, where he is. But let's have a look quickly. Okay, will there be justice for Jeremiah and his family? Will there be justice? I feel there will be. We've got the soulmate, six of roses. Okay, soulmate's card. Um, I feel like that's a yes, because that's a beautiful card. That is a, a yes. We've got the swift action coming through and good news. Look at that. So it could, yeah, it's going to come in very quickly, this news, the good news is coming in. There is going to be justice. I think it's going to be a breakthrough very soon. It's going to be a breakthrough. New journey, new, new path, new start. Someone coming in with fresh eyes maybe. Uh, definitely coming in. Look, the sword of truth is, yes, truth is coming out. I'm telling you, I'm not doing reversals for these. Uh, actually, when I created this deck, I never do reversals for these, but it's interesting because I feel that this is the truth coming through. Someone's going to crack. Someone's going to break the case. Ace of Prosperity manifestation, just like the magician, uh, you know, manifesting this about. This is really good. Strength, divine masculine of security. Someone's coming through. I feel like this could be a businessman coming through and a divine masculine of power and vision. There's two males specifically coming together. It could be det detectives, a PI, whatever. They're of authority and they're going to come in and help 
the family, okay, with strength because that they've got the strength to deal with it. Could even be, as I said, an indigenous person like a tracker or someone as well who comes in who's got the stamina to deal with this as well. All right, what else do I need to ask, please, spirit? Uh, will his body be found, please? Will, will Jeremiah's body be found? I will ask that tonight, but I'm going to further look into it another reading. But will his body be found very soon, please? Heart full of hope. The star is a good sign. Perseverance. I really do believe the star is also illumination from the secrets and illusions. Okay, it's going to come up. That's what I feel. With the perseverance, the truth will come out. And also wishing upon a star, you know, sometimes what we wish for and pray for, because I know the family are praying, actually is coming through. Look, trustworthy and dedicated. It's a slow, methodical process. Um, to get the truth, but it's coming, and when it does, it's gonna. Good news is coming out very soon. So this is actually about his body, though. I did ask about that. So I feel like the truth's coming out really fast, and it's gonna maybe take a little bit of time to, you know, find him to um, recover his remains. Divine feminine of luxury. That's the mum again. I reckon that's the mum. Patience and healing. Oh, yeah, she's she's cut recovering and healing through that. The whole the whole lot of them are in spiritual value. So they're turning to Christ, uh, or or a faith, whatever they believe in. I feel like they're turning to that for their for their patience, okay, and healing in this because they're going to need that. Uh, I know they're holding out hope for him. Um, I hope to God this is wrong. I hope to God that good news comes in where they suddenly find him somewhere and he's alive and well and it's just been this crazy story, you know, of him being held somewhere else. That could happen. I mean, look what happened to Cleo. No one would have thought that she'd be alive after so long. So we don't really know, but I'm just saying this is weird how this has come up like this. Uh, I just, I just don't feel like he's with us anymore, but I, I pray to God he is. Um, and I know people think, oh, that's weird that you're saying that. You should know either way. And as I said, I don't ever claim to be 100% correct. I, I trust in what I get. But at the same time, I'm also like a normal, like I'm a criminologist. So I have the brain of a detective where you have to keep all possibilities open-minded. Uh, like you have to be open to all sorts of things. You can't be tunnel vision and say, okay, I've got a gut instinct. This is exactly what happened 100%. But on saying that, I do trust a lot of the gut instincts I do get. Um, I feel his past. I feel he was betrayed. His, his, um, they left him there. They abandoned him. They outcast him. They bullied him. They ganged up on him. And they laughed at him and were joking around. And they were threatened by him. That's the feeling I get. There's a pack mentality against him. And... Yeah, I think that because they were drunk and also maybe on drugs that they don't remember everything either. There might be some parts they've blacked out on. Um, and because if they do use, okay, if they are uh, using substances uh, often, then they will have an issue with remembering things as well. So they won't be able to keep to a story. And, you know, when you lie, you, you, you know, when you tell the truth, you don't have to um, remember anything, as that's what they say. Uh, I think even if they were affected by um, drugs or alcohol, the police would know. They'd, they would just think, okay, well, that's just because there's blanks in this story because of this and that. But I think they are onto it. Like, they know there's deception. And this is coming up here that there is deception. These guys are lying. They're lying. Yep, hard work. Look at that detective at the workplace. Uh, working on his skill, yeah, because there's been a lot of grief and a lot of loss here, um, a lot of sadness here. So this is, leave it to the detectives, man, I'm telling you, they're, they're going to get onto it. Probably going to track their phones down, things like that as well. Yeah, someone's going numb. I wonder if it's the mum, like she's kind of gone numb, which you would, wouldn't you? Um... Oh, these have come out. What are they? Someone is pissed. Someone is really angry and pissed off, and I don't blame 
whoever that is to, to they need that kind of anger to get them through it as well I feel so I just want to have a look quickly just before I close off um, oh, I knew it <laughs> Uh, what time frame can we see that things might, you know, what can you tell us about the outcome, please, Spirit? What can you tell us about the outcome regarding Jeremiah? What can you tell us about the outcome, please? So confidence is your key to success and a new start is coming. So once again, a new beginning, a new door opening, okay, that's going to to help with this investigation the end of a tough cycle approach so there you go the door is going to open to the truth with confidence it's going to be faced boldly and yeah the end of a tough cycle approach is the truth is coming out i'm telling you surrender to the divine allow the divine to do its work allow christ you know god whatever the angels the ancestors to come through and help bring the truth out because that's what they're doing they're helping it um they're going to help these people to have a conscience and come forward, the ones that do. Because these people have to have a harsh lesson. They have to be held accountable. So, guys, I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings.